Station was ruined, completely destroyed. This concert was supposed to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. But I didn't mean to. Ariel, you have been given a gift, your mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent, one that demands stewardship and care. So please, dear child, for the sake of her memory. I know, Daddy, I know. It wasn't even Ariel's <coughs> fault. We were gonna come back straight away, but then the seagulls started going on and on about human stuff. Seagull? Human stuff? You went up to the surface? Um, nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Nets? Harpoons? You're my youngest. I'm old enough to look after myself. Well, as long as you're living under my grief, you'll obey my rules. <laughs> you just my listen grief. to me for once. You are never to go to the surface again. Understood? You're so unfair. Yeah, she's as stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, <laughs> give them an inch and they'll swim all over you. <laughs> I can't govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. Maybe I was too hard. Nonsense, sire. If you ask me, you haven't been tough enough. I haven't? Ariel needs constant supervision, someone to watch over her, and to keep her out of trouble. It's not a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you are just the crab to do it. What? You heard me. Ariel is now your responsibility. Mine? Well, you're 